Welcome you back to another weekly live training session. And I need to start by first asking you to put a yes, a why, a yep, something of the sorts in the chat box in the lower left hand section of the screen so I know that you can hear me. Awesome, awesome. I'm getting some yeses. That's great. So the next thing I need to point out is for those of you that aren't on the SMS list, you can join the SMS list by texting the word webinar. W-E-B-I-N-A-R to the phone number 615-326-1155. By joining the SMS list, you'll get instant notification reminders of when we're having the webinars and whenever I post the replays. So again, you can join the SMS list by simply using your cell phone to text the word webinar to the phone number 615-326-1155. Five, and you'll get a return text letting you know that it was a success. So uh, with that out of the way, let's jump right into it tonight and hopefully the weather doesn't, uh, the weather is cooperating because we are having a, a storm here, but so if I disappear or uh, something, it was unintentional. Uh, so hopefully the, the weather will cooperate and we'll, we won't lose internet access or uh, power. But tonight I'm going to be talking about niche selection. So feel free to put your questions, any questions that you have in the chat box in the lower left hand section of the screen at any time. And as you can probably already notice, the comments are available to everyone. So sometimes your question will be answered by someone else in the group before I even see it. So a niche selection. And the reason I decided to end up uh, to talk about this uh, tonight is because I get asked this all the time and uh, uh, one of the problems I've noticed with a lot of my students is they try to be in too many things at once and by the way you may have heard the word you may have heard this 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 word said niche uh, but I'm from the south so I'm gonna call it a niche <laughs> sorry uh, if you're looking at if you're going what the heck is he saying that word that way for but you know so you, you may have also heard it called a a, a niche but nonetheless, uh, a lot of times what I've, what I've noticed is that some people will try to, you know, my students, they'll show me something and I'll notice that what they're doing is they're, they're trying to be in like 10 niches at once. And they're trying to do acme, they're trying to do weight loss, they're trying to do dog training, and, and they're trying to make money online. And they're trying to do all these different niches, which are all good niches to be in, but they're not doing they're not doing those they're, they're actually hurting themselves because they, they don't have they're not an expert or in any of those niches and they don't really have any authority any authority in any of those niches so they're t really just kind of throwing spaghetti at the wall and seeing what sticks you know so to speak so the problem with with it is if it, a lot of times is people uh, they, they want to go right away and jump into like the internet marketing niche, make money online type of niches. And the, the first issue is they don't know how to make money themselves. So they have a hard time actually getting into them niches because they don't know how to make money themselves. So either they have, you know, like some moral issues where they're like, ah, I don't want to pretend like I've made money online when I haven't. And so they can't really teach themselves since they don't have the confidence. And so they actually end up kind of going in circles and never getting anything done. Or they have to fake it till they make it, and they, you know a lot of people don't like that either. And there, you know, that's, there are some exception, exceptions. You can actually study, and make money online, and become an expert, and, and, you know, and record your results as you go along. So, in order to get over that hump, I recommend people, you know, uh, think about their niche and spend a little bit more time in, in, in selecting a niche because this is something that I didn't do uh, in the beginning. That because I really didn't know about niche selection. There was no one to teach me about this. So I was just kind of doing what I saw other people doing, you know, and trying to emulate others that were having success and just trying to find my way. But now that I'm experienced and I know about this stuff and I've, you know, I've been a, uh, around the block, so to speak, I teach my students to a different thing now when it comes to selecting a niche. And first, first and most important thing when it comes to selecting a niche What's up here? Is it? It's got to be something that you're interested in, because think about it. We're we're 
our plans are to do this long term. You know, the, unless you plan on doing this for a year or two and then going on to something else or maybe uh, selling the website or something, that you know, that'd be an exception. But for the most for the most part, this is something that that you that you need needs to be something that you're at least somewhat interested in and and curious about because we're building a business here. This is long term, so you, you need to pick something that you can do long term. And so, obviously, if it, if if you're trying to go into like the forex niche and you are not interested in trading and and business and stuff like that, then that's terrible. You know, or if you're trying to go into the cat training niche and you're a dog guy or a dog person, that's not a good idea because you don't like cats. Like for me, I'm, you know, I don't hate cats, but I'm I'm a dog I'm a dog guy. So for me, going into a cat niche would be kind of silly because I have no interest in cats other than watching the occasional funny cat video on YouTube. <laughs> so. It needs to be something that you're interested in because if you're not interested in it, it's going to be a job, and so you're just going to re be replacing your your job now with uh your own, with your new job, with your new business job, which is working this niche that you don't like. So first and foremost, it needs to be something you're interested in, and, and that kind of goes without being said. But a lot of times, people don't really point this out to you, and you know, I'm just going to be blunt with you. If you're not if, if you try to go into the internet marketing niche and you're not interested in internet marketing. Uh, or you don't want to teach others, or you're not interested in teaching others about internet marketing, then that's foolish. So there's plenty of other niches out there, and there's niches that are less saturated, and that you can become an expert in very quickly. So now that, that I've got that out of the way, something that you're interested in, what are some things that we are interested in? Well, hobbies. Uh, pets, sports, crafts, I guess that would kind of fall under, under hobbies. But you, that's just a, let's just start with these three, hobbies, pets, and sports. And these could kind of all group together as stuff that, that people are interested in. Now, uh, I want to start with hobbies. What are some hobbies that, that people are interested in? Uh, let's just think of a couple. Gaming, you know, people are, are like to game, you know, that's that's a whole niche in itself, and you can break that down to a lot of sub-niches like Xbox 360 or even game-specific like Halo or, or Call of Duty, something like that. Or, and so gaming would be some hobbies that people like to do, video games, uh, RC planes and, and cars. Which is remote control cars and planes. People love to build those model cars and planes. I used to do that whenever I was younger, and I would still do it if I had a place to do it, I guess. But uh, uh, so model model cars, uh, hunting, anything that that you do on your free time. Let's see, hobbies, other type of hobbies that people have, poker. Uh, any any games? I don't know if that's. I was about to say Sudoku. I don't think I guess that falls. Any I guess games and stuff fall in the gaming niche. Um, poker, kind of on the spot here. So thinking of hobbies. Some tell me some of y'all's hobbies. What are some things that y'all do? You know, and and so I guess that's enough hobbies. But you get the idea. There's a ton of these out there, and you you could probably just top in hobby, and and Google and start getting some ideas, but there's no reason for you to go and try to find hobbies because you have your own hobbies. There's some kind of thing that you do when you're not on the computer trying to build a business or you're not at work. What do you do? You know, do you just watch TV? You know, uh, and, and, and really, TV shows can be, can be considered a niche, and there's ways to monetize those. So uh, now we, we get the hobbies. Let's talk about pets. So pets, how can you? How what kind of niches can you do in the pets? First, you can go into breed-specific niches, depending on what it is, like uh, dog breeds, for example, Boston Terriers, Border Collies, German Shepherds, Pit Bulls, uh, so on and so forth. There's a ton of dog breeds out there. Same thing with cats, and then you can go into birds. There's different type of birds. There's uh, 
parakeets, which are like a small, smaller little bird. You know, there's there's uh, parrots. There's a ton of different type of parrots, like the macaw, African gray, stuff like that. And, and so if you owned any any pets that are uh, any pet that you've owned, period, you know, if you own a specific type of uh, breed of dog, then you already know stuff about that breed of dog. If you own a specific breed of cat, like a Siamese cat, uh, that's really the only breed of cat I know. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, so you know, um, if you own a, a gu- if you own a iguana, or maybe if you own a specific type of snake, a boa constrictor, or or something like that. Um, if you own a hamster, guinea pig, rabbits, anything, any type of pets can be a niche. And if you've owned that pet long enough to take care of it and, and not sell it or, or kill it, not maybe not intentionally kill it, but <laughs> want to kill it rather, but you know, if you still got the pet long enough to, to that's still alive, then you know stuff about the pet and you're interested in it. So you could easily talk about it. You could talk about the issues that you had with it. You know, um, for example, if you if you if you were uh, going into maybe uh, a dog breed niche, you could talk about specific health issues that that dog breed ha- uh, has, specific ways to train them, you know, specific, and you would know because you've had to deal with them. And a lot of times, you may have even already researched it when you, whenever you were trying to raise that animal, you know. And so, any breeds of an, of animals will work. And in the same way with sports. You know, there's there's a ton of sports. Of course, this is going to be kind of limited to, to the type of sports because there's only so many sports out there, but there's new stuff being invented all the time, actually, for sports, so I guess I should be careful on what I say there. But sports, same way, you know, there's golf, baseball. There, you can do it on... Uh, you can... Different ways to monetize that. You can have... Uh, you know, if... Let me back up. I'm getting ahead of myself. When it comes to sports, you know, there's golf. Baseball, uh, soccer, football for those of you across the pond, <laughs> and soccer will be the same thing. And there's American version of football, uh, you know, so so forth and so forth. Basketball, and we could go on and on with this. You know, technically poker could be considered a sport if you want. Uh, chess is sometimes considered a sport. So on and so forth. You get the idea of, of where I'm going with this stuff. Any sport, wrestling. And there's many different sub niches of wrestling too. There's MMA, and there's, you know, there's uh, Olympic style wrestling, and uh, and then from there you can go into all the top of different martial arts as well, Taekwondo, Krav Maga, so on and so forth. So, uh, no, Elizabeth says sorry. I was like, no problem, Elizabeth. Uh, anyways, well, we're talking about niche, talking about niches tonight. So. Uh, same thing with sports as with hobbies and and pets. If these are things that you've participated in and you've liked, then you then you can probably talk about them easily. You know, if if you've played golf a lot, you, you know, if you're if you're an avid golfer, then there's, you know about stuff in that niche that you can talk about. And there's so many different ways to go within these niches. You know, you can you can you can uh, be a site that that curates news like Drudge Report or the Huffington Post. You know, so let's just use the golf niche for example. Maybe you want to be a golf news type of site to where you go out and, and you find the results from different tournaments and stuff like that, different products coming out and stuff like that. Or you could go the, the other direction and you could do an instructional type of site where you you know maybe you zone in and you teach people how to get more distance from their drives or how to not slice it or how to not hook it. You know, maybe you want to uh Focus in on the golf swing, you know, or or you want to teach them the basics of golf, you know. Maybe you want to sub teach women's golf, or you want to teach children's golf, you know, or or maybe even further you can teach golf for handicapped people. So, you know, there's so many different directions you could go in any of these different niches. You just have to find your little part of it and what you're interested in, and then and then just work in your little direction. And so for most people, what they try to do is they think, well, you know what, Kobe, I I want a cat and I, I want a dog. And I owned an iguana, and uh, I played baseball when I was in when I was in high school, and I was pretty good. And I like to play poker, and uh, my daughter had, and I had acne, and my kids have acne, you know. And I'm a parent, so they'll go into the parenting niche, the acne niche, the baseball niche, the 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 iguana niche, the Siamese cat niche, the Boston Terrier dog niche, and now they're in ten different niches, 
and they're overwhelmed because they can't create content for 10 different niches and even though there's something that they're interested in all of these, you, especially in the beginning, if you don't really have any structure, any system, it's really, really overwhelming and you're going to work yourself to death and you're going to end up quitting because you're not going to have any results because you're going to be doing 100% of your effort on 10 different things. So they're all, all going to be get at most 10% of your effort. And so what happens is you is and that's I think that's what happens to a lot of people. So if that's what you're doing, you know, don't feel bad. I'm not trying to uh, you know make you feel bad by any means. I'm just trying to make you notice that that is a problem and it happens. You know, it happened to me. That's how I know about it. You know, it's it's common. It happens to most people. So, but if that's what's happening to you now. You have to realize it. You know, I had to realize what was happening to me and make a change. So if, if that's what you're doing, you're in ten different niches and you're not seeing any results in any of those niches. Pick one of the niches today. Sell your other sites on Flip, 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 uh, or on the Warrior Forum. And even if you only get thirty dollars for your site, that's money that you can put towards building your authority in your one niche. You know, in your golf niche, in your iguana niche, in your RC car niche. You know, find your one niche and go at it full speed instead of going at ten different niches. You know, at crawling speed. Or maybe not even that, <laughs> you know, crawling half at half speed. So w once you've decided on a niche, okay, you've decided that you want to go, uh, and we're going to use something for example. So let's go with golf, uh, and and let's do with children's golf. Okay, we'll do a sub niche. Let's about children's golf, or uh, let's uh let's do ladies golf instead of, instead of children's golf. So, how to find out if your niche is profitable? And how to find out if your niche is profitable? The easiest way is our good old friend, Mr. Google, or Bing, or Yahoo, if you have a favorite search engine. And they say, okay, well, what do I do? <laughs> you just simply go and you and you type in your niche plus the word affiliate program. So in our instance, we would go and type in ladies golf plus affiliate program. And we already know that golf is is, is a profitable niche. Because there's gonna be, you know, you know, pretty much any sports niche you can monetize at the very least with Amazon products. You know, physical products, the office of the sports equipment, the gear. So we know this niche is gonna be profitable already but if we didn't this is how we would search Lays Golf plus the word affiliate program and then we're going to look and see what comes up if several different affiliate programs come up then we know there's lots of different ways for us to monetize it uh, lots, of, or lots of different products for us to be an affiliate of so there's money to be made and then so let, I'm just going to go and show you how to do that now so let me uh, share my screen real quick Trying to share my screen. I'm not sure if it's working. There it goes. It's a little bit behind. So go over to google.com. Mm, too many O's. Google.com with only two O's not four and we're just top in ladies golf affiliate program and I maybe need to put this in quotes because I'm getting some random results here so I'm gonna put in quotes ladies golf affiliate program we got three million results so I'm not going to go through all these, but golf affiliate program at globalgolf.com, affiliate program, the Lays Golf Place. Um, that's probably a good place to start. So let's go ahead and check this out, Lays Golf Place. And of course, we always know, too, with golf, we can uh, do that through ClickBank. 
Uh, the Lays Golf affiliate program is free and enables members to earn revenue by placing links on their website, blah, blah, blah. Standard commission rate is currently 5%. So these are probably physical products. Yeah, pants, shoes, shirts, skirts, shorts, stuff like that. Cool. So there's definitely, and then of course we know we can always use Amazon. So there's three main results. I'm not going to go through all these. So definitely we know that Lays Golf is profitable. Let's type in something else. Let's try Iguana. And I hope I spell it right. Doesn't look right, but it could be. Yeah, I guess I did spell it right. Iguana affiliate program, we got five results. And nothing came up, so Iguana niche may not be very profitable. Now, it looks like you got a Petco. You can promote Petco products for iguanas. And doing it that way, we got two main results. So there may be some stuff in here you can look through. Let's say, let's try Boston Terrier. Boston Terrier fillet program. We got some things that show up there. Let's try RC Planes fillet program. So we got some uh, 1.7 million results for that. Natural Plains, Red Rocket Hobbies, Hobby Tron, Trend Times, RC Helicopter Select, Hobby E Store. So lots of cool things for that program. And then last, lastly, you'd want to go to the Google AdWords tool, or the Google. I'm sorry, Google, it's also called the Google Keyword tool. You can access it through AdWords. Excuse me for, but uh, it's this first one here, Google's Keyword tool. And then you just want to see if people are actually searching for that. So now that you know that there's stuff you can sell in the niche, then you want to go and see if people are actually searching for it. So let's type in RC planes, or uh, let's type in buy RC planes, or buy RC plane. Put in our CAPTCHA and hope that we get it right. So you can see Getting some de decent results. 2,400 global results for buy RC plane. And that's a buying keyword. Obviously, it has the word buy in it. So I don't know why you'd, you'd be searching Google for the phrase buy keyword, buy RC plane, if you didn't plan on buying one. Uh, over here, so it gets decent search for that one. Definitely enough to, to build a site around. Uh, buy guana products, uh, buy guana supplies. Let's we'll search and see if anybody's. Searching for that. Buying an iguana. 720 searches. So you can, you can consider that. Where can I buy an iguana? 2,900 searches. You can consider, consider that. Iguana cage. That'd be something that... Uh, see reptile tanks. 9,900. So, you know, you, that, that niche could be profitable if you put the right spin on it. And then, ladies golf. Let's just top that in and see what people are come, come saying about ladies golf. Or searching for 200,000 searches. So yeah, we already knew that was profitable though. Ladies golf bag. So, they, so this is where you could start deciding on how you want to uh, decide on what subnet you want to go into. You could say, okay, ladies golf bags, shoes, shirts, gloves, etc., etc. You go say, okay, well, ladies golf bags gets 4,400 lo local monthly searches, 8,100 global monthly searches. That'd be perfect. And it's got the high competition, so maybe you'd want to. But this doesn't necessarily mean just because it has high competition doesn't mean you can't beat them. So let's go back. Now let's decide. We've decided on ladies' golf bags is what we're going to to do. So let's go back to Google now. And this is where I check out the competition before I ultimately decide on ladies' golf bags. So ladies' golf bags. Top that in. I'm gonna look and see at the at what comes up. Get e I have eBay.com here. I have LorisGolfShop.com, RockBottomGolf.com, LadyGolf.com, PinkGolfTees.com, GolfBagWarehouse.com. That'd probably be, in my opinion, the biggest competitor because they're the one that's most directly related to the niche, where the rest of these are kind of uh, more like do-all type of golf shops from looking at their title, their names. So the competition here is kind of hard. It is kind of competitive, but I don't think that it. 
I wouldn't look at this and be like, oh, I'd be scared of any of these. Because whenever we're, if we're targeting specifically, specifically ladies' golf bags, then we're going to target our SEO accordingly, and so it's going to be easier to out outrank them, in my opinion. And it's going to take longer, and it's going to take some work, both a little knowledge and doing it, you know, some white hat stuff. You obviously, don't do any black hat stuff, or it'll bite you in the butt in the end. You, you can uh, overtake these. Is, are you going to be able to do it in a week? No, but you can do it in, over a few months, I believe. I, you know, I, I wouldn't be uh, put off by, by this type of competition. Now, because I don't consider these, these are all semi-authority sites, but I don't consider them an authority on specifically ladies' golf bags, and probably the only one that could be considered an uh, authority on golf bags would be the Golf Bag Warehouse right here. So that would be in my, and that one, and then ladies' golf, Dot com would be our, our next two competitors, in my opinion. And these would be the two that I'd be worried about. Like eBay and stuff, we can we can overtake those. So that's how I search and find out if a niche is profitable. And now the last thing is how to monetize a niche and this works hand in hand with the last step so while we're out there searching to find out if it is profitable guess what we're going to be doing we're going to be finding affiliate programs to monetize a niche so i'm going to first give you some just general ways to monetize uh and uh, amazon clickbank jvzoo Digi results. Now, this is going to be the last three are going to be for information products or some physical products at ClickBank. Amazon is going to be only for okay. Let's just do this. Amazon or for, for physical products, you're going to have Amazon uh, Commission Junction, which is CJ.com, Share Sale, dot com. Uh, and those type of ones, and then the the private ones that we find through Google, and then for information type products, we have ClickBank, which is going to work for just about any niche. It's going to have ClickBank stuff. JVZoo and Digital Results are going to be uh, have all niches, but mostly internet marketing and make money online type of niches, type of the products. Uh, and then you've also got, you know, AdSense. And then there's other similar programs that are similar to AdSense, like uh, so, which I don't know of any of them offhand because I only use AdSense. But I do know that there are others out there. So those are the main the main three ways to monetize. And then of course the whole the whole while you need to be uh, doing email marketing. So the 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 whole idea of all of this, the whole reason that you should even be considering getting into any niche. And so that you can build a list in that niche and build an audience in that niche and become an expert. Because especially if you're going into a bigger niche like golf or internet marketing, because with internet marketing and those bigger niches, the problem is people aren't going to remember you because there's so many other people out there just like you. There's so many golf sites. There's so many internet marketing sites. There's so many make money online guys. There's so many other people out there just like me that are doing this. So in order for me to, to get you all to remember me, you need to join my, my list so that I can keep in contact with you. So in order for you to build an audience, in order for you to become an expert in the eyes of others, you need to be doing email marketing. So the, the main goal of, of any niche that you select, the site that you build needs to be capturing leads so that you can email them. You know, you don't have to email them all. Oh, man, I misspelled Commission Junction up here, sorry. <laughs> sidetrack you don't have to be emailing them all the time but you need to be capturing their emails so that you have the ability to, to email them because guess what whenever something cool comes out in the niche a new golf product comes out a new iguana uh, heat rock comes out or a new iguana cage comes out a new iguana food uh, a new whatever comes out for your niche you need to be able to contact them right away and say hey guess what this new cool product came out and I just went and bought it here's what I think about it Here's what you're going to like about it. This is what you're not going to like about it. But it's still worth the money. Go check it out. And guess what? Instant traffic, instant sales. That's how you do it. So 
the ultimate goal is email marketing, but of course we also have to be uh, monetizing in other ways. So even if you're you're only building uh, sites that you're monetizing with AdSense, you still need to be capturing email. Uh, you still need to be building a list because you still whenever you put up new content on your blog, you can send it to those people and they're going to you know click on the AdSense ads and make you money. But you need to be able to contact them when you have new content. So uh, and then of, the ultimate goal, of course, is to get them on our list. But then the way that, that you make money from that list is going to be these other areas, Amazon, Commission Junction, ShareSell, ClickBank, JVZoo, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, any private affiliate programs that you find along the way. And of course, I didn't, haven't even mentioned CPA offers. You know, that's always an option too. So, uh, you know, I, I should put that in here, CPA. And so if that, if, that, if that works for your niche, that's another way that you can monetize this niche. So if we're using the physical products, Amazon, Commission Junction, et cetera, and that, which is going to be a big part of just about any of these niches that we've talked about tonight. If you pick a niche based on what we've talked about tonight, these are going to work in there. Even if you're in the internet marketing niche, there's stuff on Amazon. You know, so uh, you can promote... The physical products that you can promote are going to be equipment, gear, and physical books related to the topic. And also, uh, you can promote Kindle stuff through Amazon as well. So, ebooks. With and so, the, the way that you would promote those is if you're in the ladies' golf niche, then a new driver comes out, you know, a new golf bag comes out, a new glove comes out, and you just do a review on it. You know, uh, you can buy it if you want to, depending on how depending on how big of an expert you want to become on this. You know, you could buy the product, you could use the product, you video you're using it, you do a, a video review, you send a, an email to your list to, uh, with, with the video, and you make sales. That's how it goes. And so that's how you would do that. If you're doing the information products, then you could do it in a similar fashion. You buy the product, you read it, or you review it. And you tell your audience what you think about it. You know, don't be afraid to tell them what you think because people want to know the negatives to a product. So if you think that a product didn't talk enough about, you know, uh, let's say that we're, we're talking about the latest golf niche, maybe it doesn't talk enough about, uh, you know, the importance of golf, of selecting the right golf shoe for a woman. And so mention that in your review. And you could even do a bonus to where, you talk about the importance of selecting the right golf shoe for a woman. And so therefore, you're adding value to the product and you're going to make more sales as an affiliate and your customers are going to be happier because they're getting access to something that they only have by purchasing it through you. And you're giving an honest review. So always be transparent because it's the easiest. Okay? Uh, it's, it's human nature to try to, to say what you want. I guess it's human nature to try to say what you think people want to say. But I'm telling you it's easier as a marketer and as someone who's, who's trying to build relationships with people to just be transparent, be honest, and say, you know, say the truth. If you think that the product sucks, tell them, hey, it sucks. Don't buy it. They're going to uh, appreciate your honesty. They're going to appreciate your transparency, you know. And... By doing that, they're going to realize you're just a human like them, and they're going to know, like, and trust you more. So, uh, any questions on, on yet on how to monetize a niche, how to select a niche, or how to figure out if a niche is profitable? Uh, we're getting close to our hour, or to our time limit, so uh, and that's about all I was going to talk about tonight, and I think I've covered pretty much all of it. I'm sure I've missed something. But I think I've covered everything I want to talk about. So if there's anything that y'all y'all want me to elaborate on, or you have more questions about, let me know. And I see some people topping in. That's awesome. So I'm just going to, while, while y'all are putting in the questions, I'm just going to go back and, and do a recap on what I've talked about so you can kind of see what we talked about. So the first thing that we talked about was the niche selection. And uh, it was something you want to be interested in. Some uh, examples were hobbies, pets, and sports. How to find out if your niche is profitable, and that's by using our good old friend search engine, Google, Bing, and Yahoo. And then while we're searching to find out if it's profitable, we're going to be finding affiliate programs to join, and we're going to monetize it using those affiliate programs, using Amazon, 
Commission John Future Sarah. So I'll click Bank JVZoo Digi Results, AdSense, CPA offers, and also our ultimate goal is to monetize it using email marketing. Jay said, is there a specific criteria that tells you a niche is too competitive? Yeah, you just kind of look at it and get a feel for it. If you look at it and you're like, man, you know what? There's just no way. And, and to me, I'm an I'm a optimistic. So <laughs> I usually uh, am more willing to take on a niche that may be a little bit competitive than maybe someone else. Because I always say, man, yeah, I can do better. Because think about it. My income comes from the internet marketing niche, which we all know is super, super saturated, right? And so the key is to finding a sub-niche within that niche that you can call your own. So I don't think, so for me, there is not a specific criteria, but it needs to be something that you're willing to, you know, you, you just have to find a, a smaller part of that niche that you can become an expert in. Yeah, there's always room for one more fish. Exactly, exactly. you just have to find your section of the pond. Okay, <laughs> you just got to find your section of the pond. That's it. And, and so and you have to decide, what you're going to be, you know, if you're going to go into the internet marketing niche, don't just don't just decide that you, you know, you're going to be an internet marketing coach and you're going to make money by teaching other people how to make money. And you're going to teach them how to make money by coaching others to make money the same way. No, don't do that. You know, decide that you want to be a list building expert, that you want to be an AdSense expert, you want to be a CPA expert, you want to be a, a you know, an Amazon expert, you want to be a ClickBank expert, whatever. Decide what you want to be an expert on, and you can always branch out. There's not saying that you can't start off as a list building expert and then move on to an Amazon expert and so on and so forth. You can, but you have to, you have to put up your, you have to put up your flag on, at, at some street corner and, and say, hey, this is me, this is what I do. You have to do that at some point. You, know, you have to, to decide on, on your business plan and say, this is me, this is what I'm going to do. I'm Kobe. I'm going to be a list building expert. That's what I did. I put my flag down. And I said, "This is what this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be a list building expert." And that's what I did. I went out and I learned everything that I possibly could about list building. And while I was learning it, I put it into action, put my own twist on things, and I recorded it all. You know, and created products about it, and then use that experience to create more products and so on and so forth, and then teach teach what I know to others. And then, of course, by doing that, then I've now branched. You know, I've branched out into other niches and now I coach people as well so you just have to but you have to start somewhere so you have to find your section of the pond and start building you know a, as a fish you just have to find your little part of the pond put up your little flag and say hey this is me this is what I do this is where I'll be at if y'all want to find me I'm over here uh, I used for me it was the warrior forum and, and list building uh, uh, so Hope that answers your question. So, that, but if if you look at a niche and you just say, you know what, there's just no way I could do it, then hey, start off with something easier. There's no shame. You could always try that niche later. You know, that's why I say it's easier for you if for people to pick a, a a hobby niche, a hobby type of niche first, because then they gain confidence and then they can move into the internet marketing niche and they and then they can be an an expert on Amazon. You know, because They've been making an income now for a year from Amazon with their golf niche. And so now they'll have two income streams. They'll be confident in what they teach because they know it works because they've been doing it. And they, so they won't be faking it. And they'll be confident in themselves morally and ethically. And, they're, and then so their customers are going are gonna to like them because they're transparent and they're doing what they teach, which that's kind of exactly my business model. So Elizabeth says, would review sites help to test, test out a niche? They would, absolutely. But if you if you decide to do a review site again, don't do one just you know because what'll happen is if you're just trying, well I want to test it out I want to test it out what'll happen is you'll end up building a bunch of different review sites and none of them will ever have any results and so we'll end up because that's what I did I I, I did the exact same thing <laughs> I, I I've probably built thirty different review sites because I just get a a wild hair up my butt one one day and and get an idea for a niche and go and look and be like oh yeah I can make money in this niche and then I just get excited about it throw up a site, and then that's the end of it. So don't fall into that where you're throwing up a bunch of different niche sites or review sites. If you're planning on 
doing a review site, make sure it's going to be, it follows our criteria that we talked about. You're going to be interested in it, uh, that you want to do it long term, so forth and so on. Because if you go and you see that there, uh, there's, there's action, uh, you know, people are searching for it, and there's affiliate products that you can promote. And I also forgot to mention forums. Look for forums. If there's forums in the niche, then there's ways that you can then monetize it, okay? If you see that there's forums, there's affiliate programs you can join, and people are searching for it at, at Google, then don't go into it half speed. Jump right into it. Make the decision. Make the commitment. And don't just test it. Decide that's what you're going to do and do it. Uh, I, I don't want to. I don't. <laughs> uh, Miroslaw, I hope I said your name right. right. If I didn't, I, I apologize. Asked, is it better to do two niches on start, or is it better to focus on one? Focus on one in the beginning, and then you can always add your second one after the first one has gained some speed. Because that's something that a lot of people make a mistake of. I did myself. Yeah, it's trying to do too many too many niches at once. And what will happen is it's like, well, both these are the same. I'll focus both these. I promise I'll focus my attention on both these the same. And what will happen is you won't. And then you'll, have, you'll start off with two, and then before you know it, you'll have four, and then you'll have six. And again, none of them will have your full of focus. So start with one. You can always do the second one later. So just make a commitment. You know what? I'm going to do this niche for a year or for six months. I, I, I personally recommend a min that you commit a minimum of six months to it. And you say, okay, I'm going to do this one for six months. And then after six months, if you've, if you've really worked it like you should for six months, you should see results. So if there's no results after six months, then maybe that's just a fluke and the, and the research that we did was wrong and you can just kick it to the curb, chalk it up as a loss. But I really, really think that if you use the criteria that we've, we already went through earlier, to find one that 98% of the time, that if you actually work it, using some of the other tactics that I've discussed in other coaching sessions, you know, for generating or recycling your content and stuff, if you do that for six months, then you're going to see results in your niche. And what's going to happen after six months is you're going to have so much results in that niche, and you're going to be now so excited and so, uh, you know, wrapped up in that niche, you're not going to care about any other niches. And, you're, and you're going to, your blinders are going to be even stronger because you just, man, you'll know, I got to stay focused on this niche, and you'll be making money, and so you'll just, you'll just get even more excited. And so it's, it's, it's more about keeping yourself on track. And when you're doing two niches, or three niches, or five niches, or ten, it's hard to do that. But I don't want you to think, well, if I do this niche, I can never do this other niche. Because you can. You can do your other niche. But make sure that you're seeing the result that you want in one niche first. And then... You can apply what you did in that niche to your second niche, and so you'll see the results in your second niche even faster, because you're just you already have the experience, and you already know that it'll work. So you'll be confident in yourself, because you know in the beginning when we first start doing something, we're we're kind of uh, I don't know if this is really going to work, and so we're kind of tentative. But once you know that it works, man, when you do it the second time, you're going to go at it even harder. So you're going to go at it 110 percent. So you'll see results even faster, in my opinion. And that's been my experience because we just, it's human nature to, to get excited. And what happens is we just we lose that excitement and we don't see results. And if you're doing too many things at once, that's what will happen. Uh, sorry, I had to take a drink of my Pepsi. If there's any, any other questions, feel free to put them in now. But while you're doing that, I'm going to... Give you all my big sales pitch, which uh, that's a joke. <laughs> I'm not much of a salesman, but I am a good coach. Okay, so if you liked what, what you heard tonight and you liked the, the coaching session that you just received, I also do a weekly private group coaching session with members of www.myinternetmarketingcoaches.com. Currently, you can join for only twenty-seven dollars a month, which is less than a dollar a day. That means for the cup of coffee that you get at McDonald's on the way to work, you can be using to get coaching from me like you got tonight, but on a more private uh, level. And in, in addition to that, you also get access to uh, downloadable replays, downloadable MP3s, uh, downloadable PDF notes. You get access to software. You get access to 
all my past products, current products, and products that I will release in the future. Uh, you get access to software to help you do a lot of different cool stuff, like create sales pages, create download pages, and just do a lot of different tasks, exit pops, all different things. Uh, in addition to training all the way from the very b basics of how to to start a list today Weber, how to, to install your opting form, how to buy a domain, all the way up to more advanced stuff like how to create WSOs, how to do email follow-ups, everything from A to Z. And the reason that I've done this is uh, when I decided to open up a membership site and I decided to, to start doing something like this, I took a poll in my Skype group and I said, what do you want me to do? Do you want a, uh, a membership site that has A, B, or C? And what they all told me was, we want D. We want all of that. We want a one-stop shop. We want everything in one spot. We don't want a, you know, this, 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 and this. We want all of it in one area. So that's what I've um, tried to do with www.myronetmarketingcoaches.com was I've tried to make it a one-stop shop so that you can stop having to buy products Stop having to buy every new shiny object that comes out and get the, the coaching that you need to make money online, to take your, your current efforts and multiply them. You know, take your marketing to the next level. So uh, Rick asked, what is the underlying software on your membership? Let me just take you out of the membership site and log in. I'll show you because there's several different pieces of software. The software is just a minor piece, you know, minor part of, well, actually, I guess I should share my screen for a, and several people that are on the call tonight are already a member. Elizabeth is a member. Jay, Jay's a member. Vic's a member. Let's see, full screen. So let's just jump over to myinetmarketingcoaches.com. And I should put, probably put that link in the chat box for y'all also. So I'm going to do that now. www.myinternetmarketingcoaches.com So you can see I'm already logged in, so there's not the sales page. Let me log out and show you the sales page if you want to see it. So there's a video there that you can watch. A little bit of what you get. Weekly group coaching webinars, downloadable MP4 and MP3 replays, PDF transcripts, PDF notes, access to time-saving software, access to information products, and training on IM Basics plus more. So let me log in. And I'll show you some of the, show you around the site. So first place you can see if you it says start here. That just gives you some inf basic information about the site. Uh, let you join the, the list to get updated about the group coachings. When we click on training, you can see that we have the different areas here. We have newbies, blogging, list building, traffic, product creation, affiliate marketing, SEO, and techie stuff. So this is where all of the training takes place. This is where all of our replays and stuff are, are put, etc. So if you were a newbie, you come in here and you can see the stuff here. Techie stuff, that's called the tech basics that I mentioned earlier. So it's got you covered in pretty much anything there. If we go over to our product vault, you can see this is where all the products are listed. Of course, I'll add more. I'll be, I add more all the time. And as I create them, they're added as well. So let's just go over to list building. That's where most of the software is. You can see uh, IntelliSqueeze is one of the software that's in there. This creates squeeze pages that cookie your visitors. So if they return a second time, they're just... Uh, it cookies your visitors once they opt in. So if they return again to the squeeze page, they are automatically redirected either to the download page or to the one-time offer or wherever you want to send them. Uh, the Sales Funnel Ninja download page so builder software, which is the WSO that I released last week. You come to PLR, get that. You get an OTO page builder. You get uh, 1,023 subscribers. That's one of the, uh, that's not even a software. I'm sorry, you're asking about the software. <laughs> that's an ebook. book uh, Ads has Add Swap Assassin WordPress plugin. This was a WSO release recently. And we got some more software down here. Exit Pop Ninja is a software that I sell at exitpopninja.com. It creates the uh, DHTML pop ups. I'll show you. It looks like this. Oops, I'm sorry. That's not. The... Go to my squeeze page. 
you can see whenever I try to leave, I get this right here. Create those exit pops. And then the Sales Funnel Ninja uh, affiliate video version. It's a software that creates sales funnels that look like this. If we go to go if we go to cobra.com forward slash demo, create a sales funnel that looks like this. And so after they opt in, they're shown us a redirect. And then they're sent to a sales page using your affiliate link to wherever you want to send them. And that also comes with PLR and you can rebrand it. So it's a rebrandable software. And in this case, I have it. <laughs> I have that set up to send them to my membership site, so that's why I log back in there. So my affiliate video is a of my affiliate site, or my coaching site. So that's some of the software that's in there. There'll be more added. Uh, lots of products are added all the time. I still have lots of products that I haven't added in there that I uh, have an idea to add in or have on my to-do list. So I'll just give you an idea of what's in the site, what to expect. In addition to that, of course, there are the weekly group coaching sessions that we have and they're similar to this where you show up you'll ask questions and I answer all the questions you've been having that week of course there's no pitch at the end of those because uh, you're already uh, in the coaching so there's no no pitch there so that's what uh, that you get if you join at if you join myinternetmarketingcoaches.com and again the price is currently $27 a month and I do have plans to increase that as the membership increases. Uh, I have increased the price three times since it opened, so it's not false scarcity. I'm not just telling you that so that you will be uh, scared into joining. <laughs> uh, I opened it in December, and I have increased the, the price three times since opening. I started it at, at $17, and I increased it to uh, 1997, and then it went to 2297, and now it's at 27. So I guess technically this is the fourth time, or the fourth different price point that I've had it at. So if you want to check that out, it's at www.myronetmarketingcoaches.com, and just gave you a quick tour of the site. If you have any other questions about regarding the site, then let me know. Rick asked, "What manager your affiliate?" Uh, my the the membership site is ran through a membership software called Fusion HQ and then the affiliate program is ran through ClickBank. So if you want to check out Fusion HQ, it's www.gocobi.com forward slash Fusion HQ. And then uh, the affiliate side is ran through ClickBank as Vic mentioned. Cool. I'll check that. I'll check that ticket out, Dudley. Um, is that for the Myronet Marketing Coaches, or is that for one of the software? But uh, cool. Well, I'll get the. Uh, I'll check that out, Dudley, after the after the webinar. So, if there's any other questions on. Uh, Oh, Miroslav asked just another question that crossed my mind. Is it worth trying to monetize European market or do I need to focus on the U.S.? Uh, yeah, I don't see why there's any reason at all why you can't monetize the European market. People spend money in Europe. I, I don't have any experience monetizing the European market specifically, but I do have, I mean, I have customers that are from Europe, so I know that people buy stuff there. I know what they, uh, so... Depending on the market that you're in, Miroslav, you would know living there, you would have more experience in that than me if people are, are buying that. All right, looks like we got most of the questions answered. So I'll go ahead and end the recording here. So for those of you that are wanting to join the membership site and get coached by me, just go to www.myronetmarketingcoaches.com to join today. With that being said, I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed this webinar and got lots of value. This is Kobe from kobeout.com and myronetmarketingcoaches.com.